What's going on gamers? Today we'll be going over how to play mod packs with the AT launcher. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. As Minecraft has grown, it has attracted a massive community of content creators. This community has put forward incredible work to make vanilla Minecraft look entirely different. From texture packs to full gameplay overhaul packs, these replace almost every element of Minecraft's gameplay and content. With this growth has come the need for a better way to distribute these mod packs, such as the original mod pack that gave birth to the AT launcher when its creator, Ryan the Almighty, wished to share his mod pack with his YouTube audience. Since then, the AT launcher has grown into a widely accessible multi-platform mod pack launcher that is able to easily install mod packs from a wide range of sources while supporting mod authors directly it also has a number of additional baked-in features such as easy one-click backup of single-player saves and the ability to install packs directly from your CurseForge. So, in this guide, we will look at installing AT Launcher and use it to run your favorite mod pack. The first thing that you'll need to check is that you have Java installed. Minecraft runs on Java, so it's important to ensure that you have it installed. You can always check in Windows by searching and clicking on About Java in the Start menu. And if you're unable to check there, you can always install the latest version of Java from the Java website. After you finish installing it, it's important that you restart your computer. First, click Windows.exe under the Download section on their website. From there, move to the downloaded file to a convenient empty folder where you would like your install files. Run the AT Launcher file, and it will now begin installing to the folder that you place it in, downloading additional files and any updates that it needs. When the next menu appears, choose your language, click Save, and the AT Launcher will now start, and you can add your first mod pack. Click on Mass OS X Zip under the Download section on their website. It may ask if you want to allow downloads from the AT Launcher. If so, click yes. For this download, you'll need to create a separate folder, so you can create one on your desktop. Once that's done, click and drag the download from your downloads into that new folder. Once the app loads up and the next menu appears, you can choose your language. Then you can choose to opt out of anonymous analytics if you wish. Click and save and the AT Launcher will now start, and you can add your first mod pack. Before you can run any packs, you'll need to link your Minecraft account, and to do this, go over to the Accounts tab in the AT Launcher. Enter your username or email and password into their respective fields. If this is a private computer, you may wish to click Remember Password. Click Add, and then when it asks to switch to the account, Click yes. It should now load your account and it'll show your skin if you have one and switch it at the bottom of the launcher. To install a mod pack, we first need to navigate to the packs tab on the ATL launcher. You can add a pack in multiple ways, including through the use of URL of the pack on CurseForge. Today we'll be using the search function, however. In the text box next to the search button, type the name of your pack. For example, Crundy Craft. When you find the pack that you want, click New Instance. Change the name and version if you wish, and then check the Enable User Lock button. If you have multiple users on your launcher and only want this particular instance to appear for your account. Click Install. The pack will now download all necessary files and install them for you. When it's finished, there will be a pop-up saying it's in the Instances tab. Click OK and Find your way to the Instances tab. Finally, click Play. The launcher will download any remaining files. Then it'll launch your mod pack. Now I'll go over some frequently asked questions. The first one is, how do you disable certain mods? Mods in the AT launcher can easily be disabled with the following steps. 
First, navigate to the Instances tab and select the mod pack that you want to modify. Next, click Edit Mods. Then, select the checkboxes for each mod that you want to disable. From here, click Disable Mods at the bottom, and you'll now notice that the mods that you previously checked have moved into the list of disabled mods. Finally, click Close, and now when you open the mod pack, it'll load without those mods. The next one is how to change the amount of RAM allocated to mod packs. You can do this globally or per instance. To do this globally, first navigate to the Settings tab on the AT Launcher, then the Java and Minecraft tab at the top of that. Next, find the maximum memory RAM entry and increase it to the amount that you want in. 4 gigabytes, by the way, equals 4096 megabytes. Finally, click Save at the bottom and you'll be done. Now for per instance, select the instances tab on the AT launcher and the mod pack that you want to modify. Click settings on the mod pack. Then find the maximum memory RAM entry and increase it to the amount that you want in there. Since mine has already been saved globally, I'm just going to keep it the same. From here, click save at the bottom and now you're done. Well folks, that'll do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.